Yep. Oh my, it, it doesn't lock it, does it? <laughs> no, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like the coal tank. Do you know what I say? Just load in. Uh, Go and edit it and move the Black 5 down. Yeah, just do a double ladder express, Black 5 and Bahamas. Just do that up to uh, Keefle to Axon up. At least I think we can safely say this isn't my fault. Well, I mean, we can blame you for it anyway, even though it's not your fault. What, just so that someone is is to blame? Well, it's your stream, therefore we've got to blame you, that's how it works. If you're the one streaming and Trainsim plays up, then it's your fault. Hmm, we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, and, and there must be a bug between a, a coal tank and a... <coughs> I think it's the um, length of the train, to be honest. Yeah, not quite knowing where it is. Yeah. Right, we'll just dump another five down here. I'm actually surprised, Matt, that you haven't included a a four five two one two and Bahamas double header in your quick draft pack. Since uh, you need the that pack anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to um I have to drop you like a link in the Plus Pipe Productions chat the next time I load up. Are we having a go at creating a preserved black five? Alright. So Basically, just modifying the texture so they're less blue. Yeah. And more black. Right. I um, think the safest way to do this is bung that on there and then uh, go and couple up separately. <laughs> it's gonna be a disaster. Is it even a train sim stream if something doesn't go wrong? No. Yeah, I probably should have loaded that one in, Matt, but. It doesn't matter. Right, now we're going to try and remember what to do. How to drive engine. <laughs> yeah, first, when I first got this Black 5 pack, I loaded it in and then was like, why am I not going anywhere? I didn't realise you had to uh, press J to actually release the brakes. <laughs> Uh, Matt says, good shout about the double header pack, but it's nothing to do with the society. Yeah, BLS is, um, it's basically just locos for hire. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's a lot of negotiating and organising that goes on, but BLS aren't a mainline tour operator, so it's not up to BLS to go, we want to run a tour doing this. Yep. It's up to mainline tour operators to come to us and go, we want to do that, and we go, yeah, okay, you, you can have the engine for however much. Right, so we've successfully managed to get uh, the five down from Haworth. Even the coal <laughs> tank's parked in the siding. <laughs> Hand of God. <laughs> oh, I... Even better, look, they've shunted the wagons back into the siding as well. And that were kind of them. Yeah. Great. Didn't even do a thing. Right, let's give this one a go. If you want to see anything else before, obviously, the stream ends at some point, then let me know so I can uh, show you it. Keefley Toilets. <laughs> Keefley Toilets. Which one's the men's? Yeah, Keefley's gents. Okay. I love Keefley's gents. Here they are. Nice and, nice and clean, look. L lovely toilet. <laughs> uh, let's just see what happens if we try going into them. Uh, uh, oh dear, we're in the car park and we've broken his legs. <laughs> it is a quite a sizable jump, that, actually. Yeah. Right. Got the passengers on. 
Let's actually do a thing this stream, shall we? Matt's quite right, you've got the wrong lamps on for an express. You said we're going for an express? We're not going for an express? Are we? I don't know, you tell me. We're going for an express. <laughs> right. Anyone, can anyone just confirm before we do set off that they can still hear? Because I can't hear in my headphones. It appears that uh, Streamlabs doesn't want us to do this double header, you see. <laughs> Unfortunately, Heathfield hasn't actually been installed yet, Tanjamir. It's uh, in the not installed yet to install folder in Windows. Right, let's try and fix these sound issues. <laughs> This one, this one happens quite regularly, actually. Yeah. Streamlabs just like kicks off. It normally happens right at the start of the stream. Yeah. You normally check everything's working. Press the go live button. Do your do your intro thing, and go hello everyone, and then everyone's like, nope, no game sound. Ah, oh, there we are, we're back. Right, we're going for an express. We're going for an express, a speed limit obeying express. We'll even go for the high lamp on the front as well. <laughs> With some sort of headboard, which one would you like? Let's do the North Wales Coast headboard because that's what you're doing tomorrow. Yeah, why not? That's a bit poetic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that would that would be interesting to see too, Jubilees on the Worth Valley, but um, it may be a weight issue that stops that, perhaps. Yeah. Um, Bahamas is pretty much ban on the borderline of what's classed as overweight. So it's it would be unlikely, I think. Plus, the issue is um, two Jubilees double heading would be a lot more power than you need. <laughs> So, although it sounds nice in theory, you wouldn't really get them doing anything. No. What you really want for the Worth Valley, certainly for double headers, is you want quite weak engines. I um, mean, that, that's why the, the, that small low cause Gala did so well. Well, they weren't necessarily weak engines there, to be honest, but yeah, your little engines, your industrials and, you know, that kind of, your industrials and your small goods engines they have to, you have to work the engines properly to get them uh, you know to get them up the line whereas if you tried like the double header we're doing here you'd hardly need to work them at all to just zoom up there no pannier tanks uh, that they've visited before there was a um... One for the 50th, wasn't they? 7714. But that got renumbered for one day, didn't it? Yeah. That was good. Uh, yeah, that was good. There was also a few years before that, like, we had um, 1501, this Pannier Tank GTI. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember actually seeing that one, was it? I remember that one. That one were an absolute beast.
Sam uh, Matt says, sorry, uh, that was indeed a beast. Yeah, it was a good one, was that? So straight through since we're an express. James says my favourite small war code visit was the B2 well tank. Yeah, the beat you well tank were a nice one. But Unfo Unfortunately, I did miss that gala actually. Yeah, it was. Uh, um, I would honestly, I would love them to make a little engines gala a regular thing, even if it were just done with a home fleet. Mm -hmm. Um, just because it worked. It was a fun gala. You know, it was. It wasn't a. A lot of galas have a more serious turn to them, but that was a lot more fun. It was more about enjoying the stuff that doesn't normally get a chance to come out. Yeah. I can't, where did we see these two double head last time? Probably at the Fala Gala. Uh, yeah, I meant as in where did we photograph it? I'm pre was it just below Walkworth? I'm pretty sure it was. I can't remember, but at that time, was it... Um, wasn't 45212 backwards? No, I'm sure it ran the double-headed last year, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it was, because Robert photographed us all photographing it but he was like miles away oh yeah i remember oh yeah we're gonna pull up here at the mems to try and sort some more at sound issues out okie dokie we need to swap tokens anyway clearly the box is open <laughs> Yeah, we was with Matt. I, I knew there was somebody else that joined us. Yeah, I remember that, because, like you said, Robert got that nice photo of the three of us all together. You got your uh, typical mound, sh one sh a mound shot a gala just before that, I think, with the taffy tank. Yeah. And the pannier. Not the pannier, the, um, the prairie, that's it. Yeah. Well, uh, it's, it's, you can't call yourself a worth on the line side if you don't get a mound shot. No. Get one. Get one. A, get one a gala. You're fine. Right. <laughs> Let's come to a stop there. It's not really in the right place, but at least we haven't gone past the signal. Um, James asks while we're sorting this out. Um, can you remember which J94 visited when the yes, BT World Tank? Can. It was um, McNavies from the Pontypool and Blenarvon Railway. Right, we're back. Right. Let's uh, try and make it to uh, Oxenhope, and we might call it a day there after about three hours. Oh, it, it, isn't, oh, it will be three hours when we get there. Yeah, I think that sounds like a plan to me. So if you've got any more questions, then get them in for Sam, because he's, he's got to go to bed soon. Yeah, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got another tip screen tomorrow, which I need to be awake enough for. And all the sugar I had earlier is starting to wear off now. <laughs> I 
Um, Moylesy, I think that's probably dependent on uh, the way the pandemic goes without knowing inside information. Yeah, um, to be perfectly honest, all railway events at the moment are very much dependent on how the pandemic goes. Um, it's not really possible to make any plans about anything at the moment. I did, I until 2019, James. I'd never seen Bahamas. It was always away. Yeah, um, I have a picture of me somewhere um, at quite a young age. Can't remember exactly how old. Stood in front of Bahamas at um, Oxner Exhibition Shed. Uh -huh. uh, after that, I saw Bahamas again at. York when it was at the National Railway Museum for a short period. Um, following that, I didn't actually see Bahamas again until I started volunteering at BLS at Ingo and I ended up working on little bits and bats of it. Alright. Um, but until I saw um, Bahamas officially unveiled at the press event at Tisley in 20, I think that was 2018, September-ish, until that point, I had never seen Bahamas in steam in my lifetime. In fact, Bahamas had never steamed in my lifetime. Ah. So that was quite a momentous event. Nice to see you obeying the speed limit there, Michael. Is it, does this not normally happen, no? <laughs> Last run of the day. <laughs> It, it only happens on the uh, it only happens on the workers that don't have a speedo. If there's oh, no, I, speed... I don't have the right asset for that. It's up there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, if, if there's no speedo, you can get away with it because you don't know how fast you're going. If you've got a worker with a speedo, you've got to keep to the speed limit. I'm gonna come to a stop here at Howarth because that's what all express do on the uh, on the line. You know, I've been on one express which didn't stop and I can't remember when it was. I'm sure there was one at the 50th, wasn't there, that just went straight through? I think it was the reopening special on the 50th that went straight through. Yeah, that was it. Uh, but it was like an absolutely mega rare event because they almost always stop. You must have been lucky to see it then, James, if you uh, managed to see it just before it was taken out of service. Ah, Matt says uh, he's been on loads. Used to do it on a Saturday or Sunday. The mid-afternoon express wouldn't stop at Haworth. Yeah, it's um, it's been a thin in recent years, but it's because um, Ola Haworth isn't the end of the line. Um, like Haworth is sort of the main attraction on the line. Yeah. Yeah, it's Haworth is where all the tourists go. It's like the biggest village on the line. Yeah. Oxen are nice, but there's not really much there. No. I remember being stood up here in 2018, filming like this, uh, and I didn't realise the taffy tank had been fitted with its uh, USA engine. Uh, whistle, sorry. Ah, oh, I remember that. I was like, what? That Oh, that was absolutely hellfire. It was actually coupled up to the black fire, I believe. Not this one. Oh, yeah, it was funny about that. You just heard this really weird American whistle and you were like, what loco is that? Yeah. You just get a little taffy tank coming up. It, oh, it was hilarious. Oh, 
that echoed. Never heard it actually echo properly before. Oh, nice. Yeah, you could. I've. I was waiting up there for Oliver Cromwell at the pass gala, and you could hear it from. I think you could actually hear it from Awkward setting off. Which makes it really difficult to work out when it's actually coming. <laughs> I have to say though, Sam, this uh, this reskin's looking very, very good indeed. Yeah, it's it's got a lot of work that's gone into it. But like I said, I wanted to try and represent it in yeah, the most accurate condition I could. Ignore that other black valve over there, that is definitely not 45212. No, no, definitely not. It was brought down was 45212, remember? <laughs> would be good, uh, Miles, he says, would be good to see models of Bahamas with both red and black nameplates. Yeah, it's... But, uh, as we said, the current one's based on what it, it's like today if you if if you if it was in steam yeah That's i may do other reasons for it but the bmg textures are quite difficult to work with so it may um i may do some more variants of it but i also might not like i said i've put well over a hundred hours on the list reskin this year alone and we're only a month in uh, if that's just for one livery, then you know to do other variants, I'd be adding a lot more onto it. Yeah. Actually, Matt, I did remember. I was just waiting to get past them like that last set of points this time. Mustn't speed though, because we are coming to the dead end. <laughs> Got to finish it off in style, because I've actually had a pretty faultless run this time. But I guess it's two engines from BMG working together, not. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, it, if it's from the same developer, then um, they tend to work okay. Uh, James says it's a great reskin, Sam. Yeah, well, I'm glad people like it. It'll be good to see uh, other people playing it when it comes round to being released. Aye. No, no doubt we're going to do this uh, again at some point. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll probably have a similar thing, a two weekend thing with, uh, you know, one with you and then one with Reese. Um, and I think I'll aim to have that when, uh, aim to have that for when it's weekend when it, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Your sugar's running out, is it, Sam? Yeah, my brain's just a bit frazzled <laughs> today, but to be fair, I've been up since 5am, so... Hey, you've done well to manage to this point then. Yeah. James says he's waiting on 78022 becoming in green before he plays the route again. Yeah, I'll drop um, I'll drop Steamstone's Steamstone Supreme message and see if I can get that chest up. And uh, I mean, to be fair, 78022 in green and Bahamas would look pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, I think we've actually photographed that last year, didn't we? Actually. Or at some yeah, point. Yeah, we did. At some point we have. Might have been year before, but yeah. It's all a bit of a blur. <laughs> yeah. There we are, nice stopping. There we are. Oh, let's have a look. Where'd you stop? Where'd you stop? Where'd you stop? I, I stopped right here. None. All good, yeah? Like this, yeah? That's all good. Just like here, yeah? That's fine. Oh, a little <laughs> bit further forward, but not bad. Not, not bad. Not bad. It's, the marker's there. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. It's probably about... Ooh, Half a coach. 
Not bad. Yeah, but Lamarca is in the wrong place. Lamarca needs to be a bit further forward. Forward as in towards Keithley or towards... Towards Oxnard. Can you see where the sort of points change colour? Here, yeah. That's about the line you want to aim for. Ah, oh, I was a bogey out, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Right, uh, thank you very much, Matt, and thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, thank you to Sam for joining us for this one, uh, even uh, after yeah. a, a pretty long True. day at work. <laughs> uh, thank you everyone for... You'd fit there. Oh, I, w I would actually, yeah. I didn't actually understand what you meant then, but... Uh, Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you again on Tuesday. And yeah, don't forget if you're around, come and see me again tomorrow at 8 on Angry Washman Productions. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, and say we sent you, of course. Oh yeah, say so, like <laughs> you came from the Rail Advent stream. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, I'll be I'll be coming to watch because I'm, I'm intrigued to see how well I did compared to you two. Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, thanks, uh, James. Uh, very much, uh, very much appreciated. God, you uh, enjoyed it, uh, and good night, Fox Red Buddy. Right, I'll see you all later, and I'll uh, be back on Tuesday. See ya. See you later, Sam. <laughs>